Hi there and welcome to my channel, A Country Life. I'm Jennifer and today I'm going to share with you guys an entire week of meals. Sometimes when I share these, I start to get carried away and I share more than five days. Sometimes I share a little vlog stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna try to keep it to just five supper meals. Maybe we'll do all the meals. I don't know yet, we'll see where this goes. Tonight for supper, we are going to be having what I'm calling make-do pasta salad. And that is because I don't have the typical vegetables that I normally put into it. I have some red onion, carrots, cucumbers, and then celery. Usually I would also put in here maybe some halved cherry tomatoes, um, some broccoli, usually some peppers. I don't have any of that right now. Also, I had elbow macaroni, which is not my normal for pasta salad. I usually use rotini or um, bow tie noodles. And I'm not sure if you guys have seen the new mini, or they're new to me, but mini bow tie um, pasta. They are so, so cute. Anyway, so I'm just boiling up some of my macaroni. What are you doing with that knife? I think you should have it pointed downwards, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Maria was just dicing up the celery, so we're gonna put that into our bowl. And then this is one of those packets of Italian dressing. Um, sometimes I, I get the zesty Italian if I happen to be at you know, like a name brand grocery store, but if I'm at Aldi, I just get the regular packet, make it just accordingly um, you know, to the package. It's usually a little bit of oil, Actually, it's a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of water, put in the dressing mix, and then, uh, or the seasoning mix, and then add in the oil. I've used olive oil before, canola, vegetable, whatever I happen to have on hand. It always seems to turn out well. Okay, I just had to take a phone call. Just put it right under the lip here, and then just, nope, nope, that lip. There you go, there you go. Just brush it in. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. If you use your hand, sometimes you can get a nice... Okay. We got phones ringing everywhere. So the last step is to add in some cheese. Again, we're just making do because typically what I would do is take a block of sharp cheddar cheese, cube, cube it up into about half inch little squares and put that in, but I don't have that again. <laughs> so we're just gonna use this today. This is really turning into a make-do Monday. I didn't quite have enough ham to make everybody a ham and cheese, and I didn't have enough of the same exact kind of cheese either. So we have a mix of ham and or roast beef and cheddar and pepper jack. So we just put all that together and made some really good yummy sandwiches for this rainy day. Served with a little side of applesauce, we're good to go. All right, it's Tuesday now. It is 7.30 in the evening. It's really late. Um, well, I guess not super late for us. We do sometimes tend to eat late like this, but Sam was invited to be on a baseball team, a summer baseball team with one of his friends. So he had his first game tonight. So we went to that and now we're home. Let me show you what we're gonna be doing for supper tonight. So earlier, right about noon, I took these um, pork ribs. So these are the country style boneless pork ribs. I took these out of the freezer and I just defrosted them in the microwave just enough so I could like break them apart. I put them in the crock pot on high for about two, maybe the first three hours and then I turned them down to low. So yeah at three o'clock. So I had them from about 1230 until three on high and then from three or so until now, 7.30, I had them, had them on low. This was just about a half a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's um, barbecue sauce. And one of the bottles was actually almost empty, so I added a little water to that to shake it up to add to this. I didn't put anything else extra in it. That is it. And over here, there's hardly anything to show. I just quick sliced up some cheese for us. We have a little bit of the pasta salad left from last night. And then we had one 
not even a half of a jar of applesauce. So I just divided it into four little bowls here. Uh, it's just five of us home for supper tonight. And so I figured I'd probably skip the applesauce and have lots of cheese. So that is what we're going to be doing here for this supper on Tuesday night. Hi there. It is now Sunday night and I have completely forgotten to film all of these nights in between. I feel like I'm, I don't know what night uh, was the last night that I filmed our meals for you guys, but I'll tell you, one of the nights we had pizza because that was my grocery shopping night. And then I also uh, pressure cooked in my um, Alec Holmes instant pot, you know, type of a thing. I pressure cooked um, four wild turkey legs and four wild turkey thighs and I pressure cooked those for three hours and then I pulled all that meat off the bone and I just made like a turkey and gravy we did that over mashed potatoes I made um, just like stovetop stuffing in the box and we had corn and we did that actually for two nights because we had enough for two nights for that and now here we are on Sunday night and what we have going down for supper tonight is I have some corn on the cob, just eight ears. There's only six of us home. Joe doesn't usually eat corn on the cob, so we're having six e or eight ears of corn on the cob. And I'm actually gonna get those into here right now. And along with this, we are having potato salad, and it is the way that my mom made potato salad. I actually have the radishes tonight. So I'm so excited. I actually ate a bowl right after I mixed it up this afternoon as kind of a little snack. So I'm going to get the lid put back on here and let that steam for just about kind of boil slash steam for about 10 minutes. And then we're also grilling. So Warren is out grilling our chicken legs. So I'll give you guys a little quick peek at the chicken legs. And then I'm going to show you the drink that I made. I made Warren and I a drink which has turned out to be delicious. Okay, so there are the chicken legs grilling, and on half of them, you can tell the ones that have a little bit more orange seasoning, that is just Lowry seasoning salt, and on the other half, that is a Galena Street barbecue seasoning, and I, that is from Penzi Spices. Well, I was going to show you the drinks. Warren has his all drank up. <laughs> Imagine that. All I did here is I crushed some ice and I filled, like I covered the ice in Malibu and then we did cranberry juice and 7-Up and lime juice, or not lime juice, but yeah, like fresh, squeam, fresh squeezed lime juice. So that's it. That was the drink and it is actually very, very delicious. The lime juice kind of takes some of the sweetness yeah. away from the cranberry juice. What did you say, Joe? And then I was See Roscoe. You want to go see Roscoe? Yep. And then I, was I know. Still looking. The games are going to start this week in just yep. a few days. Oh. How about you, Peter? What's going on in your world? Don't you have to do an oil change and fishing? None of that's going to town. What'd you do in town? We took one of Dad's brother out. For lunch, and then we went to a fleet farm and got a fishing pole. Nice. Did you catch a fish on it yet? No. I saw you down there so fishing. I was testing it out. Summertime at its best. <laughs> Grab your jello. Grab my jello. Uh, is this mine? Mm -hmm. Okay, now what am I supposed to do with this? Just the walk away. <laughs> Just walk away. <laughs> Hi there. I want to show you guys a little dessert that I'm just sort of making up as I go along. And we're actually going to have this for lunch today. Uh, Sam and his friend are working today and they came in looking for a snack and I offered them, which actually I thought was plenty of options, a sleeve of Ritz crackers, uh, pistachios, cashews, sunflower seeds. I offered them all of that and they walked out with just water. So <laughs> I thought maybe I should make something a little bit special to have for a little... Um, dessert when they come in for lunch. So here's what I have going. And yes, we had a little uh, situation with the graham cracker crusts. <laughs> the other night we were putting away groceries and Maria felt so bad because we had just had an applesauce disaster. And then as soon as we got that cleaned up, then these hit the floor. So anyway, we're just going with it. And what I'm doing here, I just put about this is probably three, four tablespoons of 
creamy peanut butter and I just gently spread it on the bottom of this graham cracker crust. And then over here, I just made up some quick uh, instant pudding and I did a little bit less on the milk. So normally you'd put two cups of milk, but I only went about one and a half cups of milk, so it'd be a little bit thicker. And then what I'm gonna do is stir in some Cool Whip. This is still kind of thawing right now, but it should thaw fast because it's pretty warm in here. It's actually 90 outside today uh, right now, and it's not even lunch. Yeah, so I'm gonna put in about half of this, fold that in, and then in the freezer, if I can grab these, these are the best peanut butter cups. Wow, they're still unopened. I can't believe nobody saw those. <laughs> These are the best peanut butter cups. They're actually better than, I think, better than the Reese's peanut butter cups. These are from Aldi. And um, yeah, I'm gonna chop those up. And I might put some of those in here. And then the plan is to put a little bit more Cool Whip on top and then put a few more, maybe like one whole one. So I put eight around because we're gonna have to cut this a little tiny pie into eight pieces. So that's the plan. Let's see how it all works out. Okay. Hi there and welcome to Tuesday. It's 10 after 4 right now and I'm getting ready to make some supper here. We do have baseball tonight so Sam was invited. I think I said this on another video that Sam was invited by a friend to play on a summer baseball team and so um, tonight's the night. So him and his buddy they already left work and zipped over there and we are not going to be eating supper before we go we're actually going to be eating after so last time i feel like the game didn't end until about seven o'clock um and so we're going to be coming home a little bit uh, on the later side having supper so i'm trying to keep this very very simple what we're doing for supper tonight is i have uh, venison steak this is what we call thick steak um, Warren cuts these, I believe, probably from like a hind quarter of the deer. It's a pretty premium cut of meat, and we have it already, you know, just trimmed perfectly. At least this is how I trim it up when I put it in the package, because there is nothing worse than opening up a package of meat and it not being ready to go. I'm slicing each one along the length here and then cubing it up and I'm just going to saute these or you know just pan fry these so they get really golden brown. I'll be pan frying these on high heat. So I'm just working through this right now. And then I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing because there's a chance I may not film when we get home because when we get home we have to make supper. We also have to paint the hallway so it can be dry for tomorrow when the trim has to go on by the builders. After I pan fry these. I will add probably about three fourths. No, I'm going to add a stick of butter to the pan with some garlic. I'm going to just kind of move that all around the pan, let that coat, let that, you know, yumminess coat the steak bites. I'm going to sprinkle on a little bit of parsley and we will serve these with some kind of potato. Uh, originally, I had planned to do baked potato tonight, but I'm not comfortable putting baked potato in really low. I didn't plan ahead. I don't have it ready in the crock pot. I suppose I could maybe do them in the instant pot. Hmm. Maybe I'll get those going in the instant pot and then they can just stay warm. I think I might do that. Okay, and then we're also going to do just canned green beans. So that's gonna be so <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that is gonna be supper tonight. And hopefully I have a moment to show you um, a little more of the process and then maybe, and for sure, the finished product. Get out here. 
All right, tonight is calling for paper plates because it's getting late and we still have to paint. So I did the potatoes in the Instant Pot, which was just fantastic. You want that knife yep, there? Yeah, I need some butter um, too. That's all over at the table. The butter, the salt and pepper is all out there. Except for the sour cream and stuff, but I didn't think you wanted it. Okay, so it was 14 minutes at high pressure and then just a natural release. So they've basically been just sitting in there while, while we were at the game. And they're perfectly soft. These are the steak bites here. I have not tried one. They're super good, they Maria excellent. says. I love how they got like really... Um, Did everybody get some? Not me. I still have to eat. All right. And then we've got green beans. Oh. <laughs> I almost didn't see them back here. <laughs> Okay, we'll make sure you get some more. All right, beautiful. Your supper.